Здравствуйте, дружки товарищи. My name is Minsk, and this is another little trip to Moscow. Metro Last Light. Oh boy, I'm so excited. This is doubly excited, first of all, because I love this game. Second thing, this is the first time I'm recording a let's play of a sequel to a game I've let's played before on the channel. You might recall, fans of the channel, when I played Metro 2033, the first part of this really awesome game series based on the books by Dmitry Kukovsky. I've played sequels before, of course, Fallout 3, Shantae, blah blah, some other stuff. I guess Tales of Symphonia kind of counts. But this is the first time I'm playing a sequel to something I've played before, so, so much sense of continuity, exciting! Check everything's fine, sounds uh, whatever, that's fine, I guess. Uh, crosshair subtitles, hints, good. Uh, I always need some hints, right? And voice language is Russian, that's very important for the authentic feel, but of course I don't speak Russian, so we need text language to be in English. Hmm. Okay. So, since this is a sequel to a game I've already let's played, and it's also based on a book, kind of a sequel to that book. This is your only warning, there will be spoilers to the last game, and spoilers to the book Metro 2033 by Dmitry Klukovsky. There, that's your only warning. If you don't want to know what happens in that game, you gotta go watch my LP or play the damn game yourself, or read the book. In any case, here we go. So right off the bat, we have Original Mode and Ranger Mode, which... As you may recall, I played the last game through Ranger easy. A unique challenge for Metro veterans. For seasoned Metro pros, Ranger mode forces you to play with limited HUD, UI, or hints. Combat is more deadly and resources are scarce. A stealthy approach is advised in all combat scenarios. So I guess I have to carry it even though... I don't know if I'm up to the task. <laughs> I recall this game being even tougher than Metro 2033, but... I gotta go with it, so there's Ranger Normal and Ranger Hardcore. So we can see this is the ultimate Metro Challenge. I'm not that hardcore. We're gonna go with the second hardest difficulty, which resources are even scarcer. Every bullet counts, that's the big deal. We have to be very, very uh, thrifty with our bullets in the game. But combat is tense because we will die super easy. However, enemies will also die very easily. It's very equalizing, you know. There was a big hullabaloo about Ranger Mode when this game came out. There was an example of, like, this came out in 2013, I think? Late 2012, early 2013, I can't quite recall. Uh, anyway, um, it was kind of a hullabaloo about the... Um, there was a, it was an early example of kind of them kind of nickeling and diming you with DLC, like it's gotten kind of crazier the past few years, but that was like, a, like an early example of that happening because they cut out Ranger mode and it was like a separate DLC and they charged you for that and that was kind of people were really angry especially because they were like advertising it as the true Metro experience which is like okay so the game the base game isn't the true experience that's kind of weird it was very some people were very offended and um, the developers were like no that's a publishing thing we didn't want to do that but because there was some trouble with THQ this changed hands a bit the publishers this game it was a bit tricky in any case i minsk i bought this game in retail where the dlc came free so i don't feel any moral weight in this case in playing as ranger mode however some might consider that it's a bit dirty of them that they would do that and i can see that point since i didn't spend any extra money on the dlc i just bought the uh, retail version i think it's fine for my case so is you want to overwrite previous? Yes. Here we go. Oh, here we don't quite have to do this stupid thing. Uh, this is fine. Uh, ah, it should be a bit brighter for Let's Play, of course. So I, I'll do this, I guess. Черные появились позже. Oh, this is cool. So even though this is a sequel to Metro 2033, this scene was in the books and of Metro 2033, and it wasn't in the original game. It's very cool. Рожденные, чтобы нас погубить. Молва приписывала им чудовищную силу и неестественную злобу. Говорили, что они голыми руками разрывают вооруженных людей. That's right, those dirty dark ones. Это неправда. Oh. 
правда страшней. О, oh май. Oh, well, okay, this Valentino was thinking of. That's interesting. They added a scene that's in the book in 2033 that they didn't have time to put in the game Metro 2033. Kind of adding to the main character Artyom and um, Dark One's history. I guess we'll get that later then. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I was not far away before. In the war, in the Petrovka. One of the family of the family was saved. I went to work. I tried to call, but where was it? Oh! Enough with your vodka stories, Boris. We have problems. Okay, look at our swanky new watch. It's digital. I don't remember what the watch was like in the previous game. It wasn't digital, it was just this. Oh, yes, we can move. Wait. Guys, you see that? There's movement in the fog. I saw it. You guys see that? You guys see? Jeez! Dark one! Oh, what? Oh, Nozalysis! Jesus, wait, wait, what? Huh? I... Sorry, what? That wasn't a Nozalysis, that's a... That's... Boris? What have I done? Boris! I didn't know you were a Nozalysis. You did this! Artyom! Artyom, просыпайся! Artyom, это я, Хан! Oh, Хан! Oh! Кошмары! Неудивительно после всего пережитого. Послушай, Артём, я был на пепелище улья черного и видел там одного из них. Я сразу отправился к тебе. Это шанс, Артём. Oh yeah, that all happened. Now I remember. There we go. The events of the first game in super short. Explanation. Хан, ты как здесь оказался? Вон немедленно. Да-да, Ульман, сейчас. Oh, hey, Ullman, I remember him from the first game, too. Just need to talk to Red. I understand that you are now in the order and you are loyal to Melnik. But you need to convince him to leave you. Khan, I said to you on the way. I will bring you to the Lieutenant. There is a secret object here, Khan. It will not be allowed to you. With me. Gather yourself, Artyom. I will wait for the entrance from the casino. Let's go, Lieutenant. Let's go, Lieutenant. Okay, so yes. У меня был один знакомый курильщик. Последний год жизни он ел, пил и дышал через. That thanks, Carl. That's great. Okay, if I'm going to travel in the metro again, I'm going to need my trusty journal and my super cool bullet lighter. And I'm going to kiss my room in D6 goodbye. That's right. We moved into Sparta base in D6. We're a ranger now. Yes. Reminders for anyone who didn't see the first game with. The let's play or play it. We are Artyom, the young hero of the Metro who warned the world about the Dark Ones. And then we fired the missiles to destroy the Dark Ones, except at the last moment we realized the Dark Ones weren't evil at all. Hmm. In fact, if you watch my Let's Play, you will see that I actually spared the Dark Ones. However, that's not what happens in the book. That's a non-canonical ending. So what actually happened was that the Dark Ones were all wiped out. Except apparently this one mutant that Khan saw. Our old friend who helped us out in our adventures in the Metro. So yeah, you can assume that the final moments of the first game, in my ending, were some sort of fever dream of guilt that Artyom had. Like, no, no, I could have, I could have found peace between our two species, but I didn't. So, like previous Metro, we can dick around. If we see the hand icon, we can interact with something. Play Artyom's cool guitar. And you saw that flash and noise. Guys who played the first Metro will remember what that was all about. Ooh, hey. It's sick music. Oh, and good readings here, too. I really like this book. <laughs> so, guys who played the first Metro or watched my LP will remember those flashes of insight. They were like morality points you needed to collect in the game to be able to unlock the good ending. Now, Metro Last Light is just like Metro 2033 in that there are the morality points and there's a good and a bad ending. And once again, you need to collect a certain amount of morality points to get said good ending. Okay, now this turned pretty stupid. Okay, that's enough of that. That's how it's like. 
Russian Linkin Park going on there for a moment. Crawling in my skin. <laughs> so anyway, it's I. This game I did not get. I've only played this game once, by the way. So if I'm a bit rustier than I was in 2033, that's why I've only played this game through once before. I did not get the good ending, so th in this game it's way harder to get enough morality points to get the good ending. And I know, you know me, if you watch my channel, I always play the good guy. I'm a super squeaky clean guy, and yet I still fail to get enough good guy points to get the good ending. So this time I'm doing a bit of cheating. I have here printed out, and I'm going to keep printing out, the uh, this list of morality points you can find in the game. One of which I think was wait inside Artyom's room and listen to the guitar music being played across the hall for a few minutes. Cool. Um, we did that by accident. We got that second point. So yes, I can consider this game a bit of a walkthrough, I guess. I'm going to try and get as many of these points as I can possibly manage so that we can get to see this good ending. I haven't, I haven't actually gone and looked it up ever, so I'm really hoping I get the good ending. So I'll be just as surprised as you guys by it. So... You may recall the secret Soviet military base, D6, back in the back in the previous game. It's now been taken over by the Rangers in the Sparta base. Right, here it is, that... Oh jeez, there aren't any... There still aren't any subtitles for this ambient dialogue? That's unfortunate, because the third morality point on my list is to listen to these two guys talk about D6 for a while. Oh boy, hmm. So yes, now D6 is held by the Rangers. It's a, the Rangers have consolidated their power, because all the old tech is here, and this place is super fancy. So we are ready to rock, basically. Um, Khan's still in here. There we go. Got the point. Khan's still around. Ulman, we saw him, and Miller's alive. Oh, there's text for this. Awesome. На той неделе его группу отправили через болото на базу в церкви. Он единственный, кто живым добрался. Ага. Иди ты. Вся группа полегла. Там же вроде все спокойно было на болото. Видишь вешки? Идешь по ним, чтобы не потонуть. Ластороги, конечно, много, но пройти можно. Oh yeah, that sounds easy. I'm sure I will never have to go there and use this information. Он до сих пор рассказать не может. Когда смена пришла, в церкви он один был. Oh, well, he's had a spiritual awakening then. Good for him, I guess. Although not eating doesn't sound very healthy. Hey, is that the new book from Dmitry Gukovsky? Cool. Oh, oh, cold, cold Russian humor, guys. Huh, did we get a flash from that? I think that's supposed to be our fourth flash of insight, listening to those bros. I'm not sure. Did I maybe miss it? Anyway. Yes, um, Metro 2034 is the sort of sequel. It's kind of a side story that Glukovsky wrote, and it was out by the time this game came out. This game has nothing to do with that book, though. I haven't read it. I haven't read either of the books he's written since. I don't even know if the third book is translated into Finnish yet. In any case, um, this... This was this game was co-written while he was deciding that uh, while he was writing the Metro 2034 he also helped co co-design this game Mr. Glukowski. so these are two separate stories it's a complete side story from what I understand uh, yeah it was nothing sure uh, Okay, sure, I'll do everything I can not to go into that place. Okay, okay, are you guys done already? I'd like to continue, please. Yes, yeah, yes, спасибо. Well, look at this guy, he's a... <laughs> I bet you can lift these both at the same time, Artyom! 
You are strong like Russian bear. I uh, still go to Miller, who, if you notice them say Melnik, that's who Miller is. That's one of the weird things to translate Melnik's name into Miller. In the... Привет, Артём. Говорят, ты теперь полноправный рейнджер. Надо будет это дело спрыснуть. А пока давай тебя экипируем. Итак, приступим. Прежде всего, противогаз. Oh shit, I just missed up. На поверхности и шаг приступим. Одна пыльчива стоит. Фонит до сих пор так, хоть яйца запекай. Да и в метро есть зараженные участки. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, I, I missed a one morality point. Here we have a classic Russian balalaika. I want to balalaika, 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 yeah. La 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 la. Okay, now where are we? I, I did my balalaika practice. Okay, a gas mask. On it. Не забудь фильтры. Конечно, противогаз смотрится и без них неплохо. Right, right. This is just like the first game. We're suiting up and we're getting all the important items we need. So, gas mask, filters. Так, аптечки. Что тут скажешь? Все, что нужно для выживания, oh, yes. Classic уголков. adrenaline syrups. Awesome. Вот твой аванс за этот месяц. Не забывай, зарплату мы получаем армейскими патронами. Конечно, ими можно стрелять. Бьют они больно, но лучше mm -hmm. все же приберечь. And to remind everyone, in this game we don't use regular money as currency. We use military grade rounds as in bullets that have survived the war and aren't these like homemade crappy bullets. So because they're super high quality. Which leads to the interesting dilemma, do you save your bullets to um, be able to afford stuff in shops, or do you use them to do extra damage? I think, if I recall correctly, much like Metro 2033, there aren't very many shops after an early point in the game, so we, the answer is you're free to use them later on in the big fights. Yeah, now here they're a bit more open than in the um, in the first game where they just give you the crappy gun because now we're a bona fide ranger and stuff. We have free reign to pick our selection of weaponry. Oh, here they are. So what do we got here? We got two weapon slots. Of course, we've got the sidearm pistol, but that doesn't count for now. So we've got the valve. Simple long distance rifle, looks bolt action, semi auto, I assume. We got the Kalashnikov, the iconic Russian weapon. Yes, it's a classic assault rifle. Here's the AKSU something other, you always see it, it's a shorter, shorter um, barrel there. Okay. The Bastard, this was a favorite from the first game, this homegrown submachine gun. <laughs> Ignore that part where it says it uh, makes it overheat, because we're playing ranger mode. We're never going to have enough bullets to get that thing to overheat. Dude, it's the automatic shotgun, or, or the semi-auto shotgun, revolver shotgun. It's called the Shambler. I didn't even know that. That's an awesome name for a revolver shotgun. Speaking of revolvers, here's this giant, dirty, hairy gun. Okay, let's suit up with um, this one. Now, we can customize right away. Isn't that nice? They're giving us all these Nido toys. So, what do we got here? Reflex sight. Is that all? Alright, reflex sight. Yes, sure. That's great. I'll take that. To the barrel. Oh, yeah, we got a silencer. Um, let's see. No, uh, there we go. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good gun. I like it. And we got a second slot. Now, if you remember, or again, to guys who might be watching this the first time, best I think the best setup of weapons is the assault rifle and the shotgun. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, shotgun for mutants. They don't really have ranged weapons and stuff. They, they abide by the close-range monstrosity that is the shotgun. What we got here? Reflex sight for the shotgun? Sure, let's let's stick around and do that. We got silence the shotgun or an extended barrel. Make shotguns more efficient at medium long range by tightening buckshot spread pattern. If we got a shotgun going, we're going in loud, so I don't think Also this reduces damage to silence on the shotgun, so we're taking the extended barrel. Oh yeah. Um Yeah. Did we get it? 
Let's see now. So here we can have a nice little shootout. Test out our new toys. Okay, come on, he's coming at me. Is him dead? Lovely. Loading animations. Assault rifle. Aim for the body. Okay, he's taking shots. If we go for the head. Yeah, nice. I still got the moves. I got this. I can handle this. It's fine. We got unlimited ammo while we're playing here with the shooting range, so it's fine. So yeah, um, assault rifle is the best for human enemies. Again, because the silencer. Because I'm gonna go stealthy against humans. And that's our fifth morality point for dicking around at the shooting gallery, testing out our toys. Cool. We're doing really good with the uh, points here. I don't know if I got the conversation about the Romanov. That was supposed to be one of the points. Um, let's see. Oh, sorry, that's actually sixth point should be this one at the gun shop here. All right, cool. Anyway, well, that's now well, we're ready to adventure in the hostile world of the Moscow Metro. Look at this knife guy. He's like, yes, I need even sharper knives. I want to feel the blood dripping from enemies. Yes! This is good. Мы нашли сверхмощную радиостанцию и установили связь с бункерами Сибири. И будто правительство и президент. Wow, that sounds exciting. Бред полный. Oh, oh, Jesus! Whoa, he nearly got me. Watch out with your knife. The guy can cut through solid glass, dude. Whoa. Oh, this, what's on the menu today, Tavarish? Oh, goulash, of course. No, wait, goulash is Russian. What did they eat? No, goulash is Hungarian. What did they eat in Russia? A borscht soup, that's right. Sorry, I'm getting all my Eastern Europe tropes mixed up. Borscht we got going on there. Mm. Okay, you guys, I'll just sit down. So here you can see the problem with all this ambient dialogue. We're still getting the cut... Uh, the subtitles for these guys. Well, these guys don't have any subtitles. Poor guys. In any case, yeah, um, they kind of get covered up. <laughs> well, it's it better we get subtitles for some people so we know it's like important talk. Okay, he said Melnik, so he must be telling me to go to Miller or something. What's up here? Hmm? Tell me guys too, what's going on with Lesnitsky? No? Okay. Alright. I like that for this game they gave Khan a completely different um, costume. So again with his weird trivia. <laughs> Lovely thought, Khan. Because Khan is like unaffiliated. You know, these guys hate him here. It's interesting how they're very grumpy with him. Even though he was hanging out in their church back in the first game. But, but anyway, in that game he had the same uniform as the Rangers. So I thought it was a bit weird. So I like that this one he's got more of a spiritual man costume going on. You are such a ball of positivity, Khan. I'll tell you that. Hey, re remember this place? Well, that sounds serious. Did somebody bop Lesnitsky? Oh, that's kind of an issue, you guys. Someone broke into the chemical weapons lab? Yeah, okay. So I remember this place was all dusty and empty and destitute and spooky. Now it's super set up. It's pretty cool. And there's no goddamn amoebae. That's a... Weighed off my shoulders. 
конечно, о такой базе можно только мечтать. Только что ребята вернулись с кольца. Говорят, Ганзо укрепляет свои покраспосты по всей линии. Hey guys, what's going on here? Красным и фашистам поближе. Фашисты зашевелились. Только что... Fuck, this is that music. It's like Russian corn going on there. Два ударных отряда. А что они поделили-то? Да кто их знает? Чё они вообще на поверхности делают? Ааа, давай, 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 You're a cool guy, dude, Khan. Don't let these guys get to you. Artyom, I feel it. I'm just sure that the destruction of the black is the worst mistake in the history of humanity. Oh, God. He's moral guilting us for a choice we didn't necessarily make in the first game. That's kind of awful. Hunter, the best of the Order, too. А ведь именно он говорил, если мы не будем сражаться за жизнь, нас съедят. Это закон эволюции. Но в этот раз мы, похоже, поспешили начать сражение. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, maybe, maybe, hmm. Maybe he's right. Maybe I shouldn't have done what I did blowing up the... Ooh, cool. Can I play this missile command? No, don't touch that. That's the... <laughs> It is no game, Artyom! Uh, but I'm really good at missile command, you guys. Don't worry, I got this. Just gonna very carefully aim at all the ones that are coming down. Just keep firing calmly. Keep them, like... Keep a really good, like, uh, sort of uh, tempo going there. It's fine. Missile command super easy. It's not, though. It's like... You think it's easy, but then shit gets super real, you know, as the bombs keep falling. It's a rough game, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, the game's not cooperating with you, but the last... Last morality point you'd get in this area is listening to these ra radio operator guys. I'm not getting them, unfortunately, so... Unless it's these guys over here. No, it's just a guy... All right, so we'll miss one point. I think I think we can manage. We don't have to get all of them to get the good ending. I don't think. Let's move on. Artyom, Khan, у вас есть информация? Wow, Miller, you look completely да, different from the first Тогда, game. Пожалуйста, покороче. But you look super badass, so I'll, I'll forgive it. То есть одна тварь жива? К счастью, да. К счастью, Khan, что за бред? Черные худшие всех угроз, с какими сталкивался Орден. Полковник. Oh, good. The Nazis are losing. That's, that's kind of a. Я думаю, он найдет с черным общий язык. Отпустите его со мной. That's kind of a relieving. Артём, Reds are kind of winning. Артём, и найди черного. С вами идет наш лучший снайпер. Она. Oh. Есть. Зачем снайпер? Чтобы наверняка уничтожить черного. Что? Да как вы? Взять его. Oh. Убийца. Вы совершаете ту же ошибку. Нет, я выполняю свой долг. Вывести его. Артём, это твой последний шанс искупить вину, избавиться от кошмаров. Окей, Кон, что ты говоришь, но я должен делать, что Миллер говорит мне. Он как-то мой босс. Ну, знаете, бредни, Артём. Похоже, чёрный уже успел покопаться у него в мозгах. Выполняйте задание и мигом назад. Скоро война, и ты мне будешь нужен здесь. Вперёд. Что за стыл, кролик? Давай за мной. О, окей, Лен. Скажу прямо. Черные тебя чувствуют, так? Значит, ты сможешь его выманить. Но знай, Анна и правда лучший снайпер. Если черный тебя возьмет под контроль, у него будет двигаться. Окей, Миллер, фрикин. Got it. I'll kill the stupid thing if you really want me to. Лесницкий оказался внедренным агентом. Ваша задача перехватить его прежде чем. Oh God, Лесницкий was a bad guy all along. That's kind of. Так точно. Если ему удастся уйти, метро может ждать катастрофа. Так что, если не сможете взять живым, берите как получится. Есть. Выполняйте. Shit, I hope I don't run into that guy. He sounds super dangerous. Okay, Anna, was it? Let's get a move on, shall we? Man, you are staring holes through me, lady. Еще скажи, что веришь этому психопату Хану? Мир с черными. 
Я в одном жалею, что не была тогда на телебашне, не наводила ракеты и не видела, как горит их поганый улей. Найс. Nice. Договориться с ними. Пустить их к нам в метро, чтобы они забрались к нам в голову и управляли нами, как марионетками. Да это же все равно, что договариваться с дьяволом. Окей, окей, I got it, we're gonna kill it, I got it, we'll kill this bad boy. I got lots of experience killing them, it, it's fine, They just gotta get a revolver and shoot them. Shit, I didn't bring a revolver with me. Well, the shotgun's kind of a revolver, so... I don't like the lip you're giving me, Anna. But I'll forgive you this once. What do you mean we... Oh, I don't know. 